How to Make the World We Want. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 167. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 167, June 5th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the Humility lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of Humility is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the Humility lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map of the Courage Lesson Plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, the core team continued working on the renders for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bag Village, Pod 1. Here you can see an incomplete render looking down and south. This week we made adjustments on the textures for the roads and completed work on the shadows. Shoddy Kennedy also finished the render created a few weeks ago by the core team. To do this, he added benches and all the plant details, so now it shows the tropical atrium flourishing with fruit trees, flowers, and other plants from the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting Plan. Shadi then created these new images for the transition kitchen designs for feeding 20 to 50 people in remote locations while more permanent facilities are being built. And as part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, we added instructions for general procurement and preparation of legumes, nuts, and seeds to our website as calculated by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martorano creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week, we continued the thorough review of Section 10, Construction of Stem Wall and Dome, adding necessary repeating steps like removal of the slider and securing string to the finish nails for the interior stucco netting into the ongoing evaluation of the dome. We also added several new steps to Section 9, Foundation Construction. We'd say we're now 84% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are two different outdoor picnic areas and the kids' playground area. Also, here you can see additional brainstorming she did on how to improve how this will look in the online book we are creating for all the villages. Additionally, Zachary Moline, graphic designer, 
continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is Zachary's process of cleaning up the background image and redoing the SWOT analysis page. Also working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, continued designing and exploring different bathroom tower options. These will include individual storage spaces below, recreation space above, and be separate from the trees to maximize efficiency and minimize the ecological footprint. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 22 of his work that continued with what you see here, creating more high quality render plants and trees like those we'll be growing on the property and then placing them throughout the Cobb Village. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, earth Bay village, Murphy bed, furniture assembly instructions. What you see here are week four of his process of double checking all our pieces and creating solid works versions of them from the SketchUp pieces we already have. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on what is needed for the first renders of the natural pool and spa area aspects of the duplicable city center. This week's focus was setting up room dimensions, designing the hobbit door, and designing the stones and boulders for decorating the waterfall. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also began organizing the hundreds of files generated through the city center development over the past five years. The image on the left is a snapshot of what she started with, and the image on the right is what she finished with. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also finished the layout of the city center subframe, which you can see here. And Dipti Dondaker, electrical engineer, finished her calculations for number of lamps for the city center rooms. The results are seen here. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round eight of this work, exploring more shelving and lighting designs for the main spaces on the walls, along with art options to fill the space above. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth-year computer engineering student, talked about and tested opto-isolator connections for the control systems design. Also behind the scenes, James Nance, Mechanical Engineer and Project Manager, began working on the City Center plumbing layout. You can see a picture of this work in progress here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began exploring how to create an open source and standardized presentation for highest good housing villages. You can see this here along with the color guide wireframe. Steven Koslowski, graphic designer, also finalized the icons for our open source copyrights, trademarks, and patenting pages, the icons associated with the food self-sufficiency plan and page, and fixed the last icon we needed fixed out of the social media set. What everything one community is doing really comes down to how to make the world we want. And for one community, that is a world that works for everybody. And so what we've done and what we're doing is we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living, which is purpose to create and live for the highest good of all life on this planet. And our idea is if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. So to make it easy, affordable, and demonstrate as attractive, we are creating complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and designed to be self-replicating because we will demonstrate them as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that people will find this way of living better than the way that they're living right now. If we can do this, if we can achieve this, this way of living built on a foundation of sustainability that provides a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now, then we know how to make the world that we want. We can create the world that we want, a truly sustainable civilization, and if you run the numbers on what's possible by creating a self-replicating system like this, 
designed open source so people can do the way do it the way that they want change it if they want to adapt it let human ingenuity and creativity do most of the work but we're here to build the platform if you run the numbers on what's possible by doing that we can transform our planet within our lifetime. Within one generation, we could move our world. We could reach a tipping point, a global tipping point of participation, and move our world to a sustainable civilization that would benefit all life on this planet, and especially humanity. Now, of course, the biggest foundation of all of this is open source creation. Secondary to that is an evolution of sustainability, taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability, and that being the foundation of what will create a way of life that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. Creating all this with the consciousness for the highest good of all bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe this is possible and that we're the ones to be the change we want to see in the world to create these self-replicating solution models specifically purpose to create additional solution creating models. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if the idea of how to make the world we want is something that you'd like to participate in, we've got lots of different ways to do that ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build one community, the first prototype, to people working behind the scenes as volunteers, just donating their time and uh, energy to helping create everything as consultants, or just sharing our information on social media is a huge way to help us. How to make the world we want requires participation. And so we have made it as easy as possible to share our information on social media, and we thank every single person who helps us do that. Because we are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, LinkedIn, we are on Sue, and we're on about 15 other social media networks because we understand that getting the word out requires participation and we want to make it as easy as possible. So for the people that share that, if you'd like to help us out, that's the easiest way to do it. We're also, of course, seeking large-scale funding. People ask, well, how else? What's, what's like the biggest step that one community could take right now? Our main focus is still finishing all the blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, open source designs, so that we are shovel ready once we get funding, but we're still seeking that funding. So if you or somebody you know would like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, or if you would like to invest in one community with a large scale investment, that would allow us to get the property off the market that we've been working with now for over five years. It would allow us to take our whole open source process to a completely new level, allow us to build our team faster, and uh, that would be a huge step in the right direction. Nobody at One Community is paid for what it is that we're doing. We are all unpaid volunteers, self-included. We're doing this because we want to live this way. We're doing this because we want to see a world that works for everybody because we know it's possible. So, as always, thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations, too. $5, $10, $15, $20 goes a long way. Our expenses exceed our current donations. So small donations make a big difference in helping so that those expenses don't come out of pocket allow us to continue to do what it is that we're doing. We're all working regular jobs to pay our way, and so it allows us to put more time and energy into our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, so thank you for that. Thanks for following our progress. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and details, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, likes. On our, uh, on our Facebook posts, our social media posts, YouTube, things like that are also very helpful. Anyway, creating how to, how to make the world that we want, this is what we're doing. It's possible if enough people participate. And so we're bringing together people that believe in that. And we thank you for doing your part in following us and following our progress, helping support us in whatever way works best for you. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.